Hey guys, Sunsfan here with a chest opening video. I, uh, I'm in Manila, so it's probably a bit late to get this out, but you know, I always put my blood, sweat, tears, and semen into these things, so hopefully you do enjoy. I'm going to be looking over here. I have dual monitors. It's kind of a weird setup, but whatevs. So, woke up today and found out one of our sets is in the game. Super excited. Uh, it's the Collector's Cash 2016, which you can find here, or if you go to the store, right slap dab in the middle. So let's check it out. And the cool thing about this chest is, well, a couple things. I guess 25% of the proceeds go to the prize pool. A bunch of the heroes have never been in the game. These are the first cosmetics ever. And I will be going over those specifically. I might have forgotten one of them. Uh, we'll find out when we go through. So uh, I think they're all mythical too. Let's go through this. We have a Chaos Knight, Oni Knight, the Dark Conqueror. Pretty cool. And I think all of them will just come with a loading screen. So none of them have, um, like, they'll have ambient particles, but they won't have, like, spell particles or anything like that. And there's no infusions or anything like that either. Next is Tinker Fortified Fabricator. I think this is the first Tinker set ever. He's had immortal items, but he hasn't had a set, I believe. This is the one I'm not 100% sure about, but I'm pretty sure. So. And then our set, Shadow Fiend, Diabolical Fiend. Um, looks pretty sick, as I've already explained in our videos, of course. Uh, comes loading, so it didn't come with the second style, it didn't come with the skill particles, but it does have the ambience, which uh, I'm glad they at least put those in. That's actually super important for the set to actually look decent. Uh, shout out to Trunk TH, Graph, and Horse Strangler for that bad boy. Next is the Creeping Shadow PA set. I feel like this was for a player. Maybe not. I could have sworn I remembered doing something with this, but I, thought I, I, thought I think we featured this set. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe not. This one I've never actually seen before. It's the Sven set, Storm Rot Arbiter. Definitely unique looking, say that much. Cape's pretty cool. Apparently, if I get this set, I have to give it to Resolution. So, I guess I don't. When I get this set, I will just be losing it immediately. Wait, did we miss any sets the first time? Obviously, the Shadow Fiend is the first Shadow Fiend set in the game. This is the first Winter Wyvern set in the game. Ice Burnt Elegy. Is that a word? I guess. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty sick, actually. Nice. Uh, I've said this before. I wish they'd put the artist's names somewhere here because I actually forget. We've featured so many Wyvern sets, uh, and obviously this is the first one to get in the game, but it would be nice to know the artist that actually made them. First Zeus set in the game, War Torn Heaven, not including the Arcana, that is. Third party sets we're talking about here. War Torn Heavens? I don't remember featuring this. I don't know if I've ever... Maybe we did. There's actually been so many sets, I can't even... I don't even know, honestly. Might hear some background noise. That is... Uh, we're in the, the DC practice room. Meepo, the Family Values Bundle. Oh, yeah, we did this set. This is the one with the... Uh, is that a coffin? I think it's a coffin on the back. I really like this set. And the super... One of the best loading screens of all time, for sure. All right, the first Bane set in the game, Air of Terror. Like, uh, I definitely have never seen this set before. So, uh, looking forward to seeing what people. It's actually pretty unique. I, I don't. I like the back piece. Looks interesting. Oops. There we go. And I believe the first Undying set in the game, Dirgeful Overlord. Uh, we definitely feature this one because I love it, the, the Pharaoh. Nice stuff. All right, Luna, Knight Silver's Resolve. Uh, yeah, we definitely feature this as well because I remember the mount being my favorite mount of all time, by far. So good. And honestly, the, this looks just like the generic, but it doesn't matter because the mount is so good. 
The first Arc Warden set. Boy, I was really waiting for this. Fractured Envoy. Uh, I mean, the set looks cool. Just can't stand the hero. You know. I'm sure a lot of you out there agree with me on that. And the last guaranteed set we'll get is a Magnus, Rising Glory. Um, all right. I kind of like it. It's kind of a medieval type set. Not too bad. All right. And then we have a rare courier, the Atrophic Skitterwing. All right. It's just like a, an oct a really hideous octopus. If you're a fan of uh, Zerg, then you're definitely going to want that career. And then a bonus, very rare, a Pudge Set, Doomsday a Ripper. Looks pretty sick. So I don't know if, where it says this, but uh, there's a they added a thing where if you buy more chests now, you have a it's an escalating thing where the chances of getting a rare are amplified with each purchase or something. And then the ultra rare, which we will not be getting, even though it is the cuddliest courier ever, the Hakobi and Taneko bundle. It's a cat and a dog, basically, and it's awesome. Super cuddly. I love this courier. Okay. Let's open some shizzle. So I, I have a self owned chest that I get because I have the sh we made the Shadow Fiend set, but I bought 13 in addition. So we're going to. There's 13 guaranteed, and we're going to open 14. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, yeah! Alright, this is gonna take a while. Holy shit. Oh, great! I definitely love playing Arc Warden. Epic drums. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Uh oh. Keep going, boys. Bane Elemental. I could hit skip. Actually, you guys let me know in the comments if you want me to hit skip from now on. I don't even know. Or you like this spinning. We're not going to get any prayers. Feel it. Come on. I want that courier so bad. Oh, that's the escalating icon that now disappeared. So these ones have it too? Yeah, they all have it now. Chance for seeing this rare item from the treasure improves with each purchase. Or each thing you open. Okay. Which is good. Because some people end up getting like uh, five ultra rares and then you're sad. just want the courier. This one. No. No, not this one. Okay. Why? Oh, good lord. Hey, Roman. Why don't you come open this chest? Roman has really good luck, because he doesn't die in matches, so... I'm pretty sure... No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to put the headphones on? So people can hear you? Alright. 
Put one bottom? <laughs> <laughs> we need patch. Look, look, look. Where are you? Ah! It was so close. Alright, and another. Should be patch. I need patch. Fuck. He's gone first. Ah! Ah! Alright, I'm Did down for shadow. Right? Yes, this is mine. I need Sven. I have really bad luck. <laughs> so <laughs> GG. Okay, use all your luck in matches. I think cosmetics we can we can probably find you the pudge set, you know, because you do play pudge a lot in game, as we know. All right, so that is the new chest out, International 2016. What is it called? Twenty sixteen collector's cash. Okay, the thing I want to know from you guys is if anybody has gotten two of the same rares, because. Based on what I'm understanding, it's actually more, uh, more difficult to actually get multiple of the same rare now. That's what the system. But it's more likely you get a rare. So let us know what you think of the chest. Till next time, Suns fans signing out. Later, guys.